Welcome to UEN Video. This is a tutorial for Microsoft's PowerPoint 2008. We're going to spend a little bit of time today talking about some of the new features and specifically some of the baby steps for getting started with PowerPoint if you're new to PowerPoint as an educator. You'll notice right here that there's an outline and a slides mode. I'm going to click on the slides mode and when I do, you'll also notice I can shrink this pane up a little bit. If I go clear down, you see that I have a visual of it instead of the words, the text version. I'm going to slide that back out and we can see that there's a text version as well. I'm going to stay in the outline mode because what I want to do is be able to edit and work with things in the outline mode. So I click into the outline mode after selecting the slide and I'm able to now start putting in my content quickly and easy as an outline. <clears throat> I'm going to start off here with Solar System. We're going to do a PowerPoint quickly about the solar system, the baby steps of it. I press the enter button on the keyboard and then I press the tab button on the keyboard. You notice what that does is it moves me down in my hierarchy. So I can type in my subtitle. That subtitle will be a trip around our celestial neighbors. Now when I press enter again, it's going to bring me down to the same line. You'll notice right here, the same line, or the same level in the hierarchy, but a new line. So I'm going to use the, the shift button and then press the tab key, which will take me up one level. Hold down shift and press tab again. It will take me up another level in my hierarchy. This allows me now to um, to go in there and I can type in my next title for my next slide. That will be the inner planets. And then I press enter and I press the tab button. Notice that put me the, a new line or a new slide at the same level in the hierarchy. But I press tab and it pushes me down to a lower level. I type in Mercury. And I press enter. And I type in Venus. And then Earth. I press enter. Now I'm going to press tab again. That's going to move me to a lower level. I'm going to type in Luna. Earth's moon. Now if I press enter, it'll keep me at that same level just like before. I'm going to hold down the shift and press the tab to type in Mars. The big key to um, navigating in this outline mode is the shift tab and the tab. You may have also noticed that there are two buttons here that increase or decrease my indent. So I can tap, I can press this button and that'll move it in to lower levels to create subtopics or move it back up. Or I can even move it clear up if I want to do entirely a new slide about something. I'm going to leave it where it was. Press enter. And the tab is the shortcut key for that. I'm going to type in now Phobos, one of Mars's moons, and Deimos. I'm going to go shift tab again and come out here to the asteroid belt. Now I hit enter and I don't need to tab in because I want to just do another slide at that same level. I'm going to type in outer planets. Press enter and tab in. I'm going to type in Saturn, Jupiter, Uranus, and Neptune are planets. Now I could come in and put some subtopics in here. You know, type in moons. I could put in rings. But you'll also maybe notice, I'm going to hit enter and put my last one in. My last thing is the Kuiper belt. And it consists of planetoids like Pluto and Charon. And I'm going to shift tab to go up a level and type in comets. So again, the big key to navigating in this uh, outline mode is the tab and the shift tab. And I can move along there. Now you may have noticed one other thing though, that Saturn is out of place. It should be Jupiter then Saturn. So if I mouse over that little bullet point and grab it, it'll actually grab that whole set and I can move it down 
to another spot. So now I've got them in the correct order. I can adjust the order on any of these with that tool. And that's basics of, of inserting content or importing content into your <coughs> inputting content into your PowerPoint and, and the Mac version of it. Thanks for joining me in video.